God created you to be perfect, and Satan perverts you to imperfect. God allows you to be a, to your wife, a sweetheart, legally married, but to love someone else is to pervert that true love that you should have for your own wife. Satan does that. I don't live true to my wife because I think she'd divorce me. I live true to my wife because I love her. It's a legal uh, a position that we have taken that we love one another. First, before it could be that, it had to be a love. I love her. Although I believe if I'd done something wrong, she'd forgive me. Still, I wouldn't do it anyhow. I love her. Nothing artificial will ever come in the resurrection. And neither will an artificial Christian ever rise in the resurrection. You're not connected with Christ. And if you don't truly love your wife better than any other woman in the world, she's not yet. There's something wrong. If you don't love your husband, if you trifle on him and don't live the right kind of life, there's something wrong. That's right. She'll not, he'll not be there so to resurrect. You might have married him. You're living honorable to him. That's fine. I, I appreciate that. You should do that as a lady for your children. And you, man, to your wives. That, that's right. You should do that. Honorable. But in the resurrection, that'll not be her. There has to be promises made uh, to one another. Like that you make promise, uh, sweetheart, if you... Marry me, I promise that I'll be loyal and true. I will look upon no other woman, or I'll look upon no other man, and I'll do all that as a duty as a wife. We have children, it'll do all as a duty as, um, as a mother. I I'll be a housekeeper. All these promises has got to be made, or should be in a correct wedding. That's what you should do. That's exactly right. Where you promise that. It should come from your heart. If you promise your husband that, and not from your heart you mean it, you are absolutely not living correctly with him. It's kind of a crystallized affair. When we take our pledge to Christ, if we don't become part of Him, like a woman ought to become part of a man, and a man part of the woman, then we're an artificial Christian. We're not really, you're really not married to that woman. You might be loyal. If you don't love your husband and him 60 or 70 years old and you don't love him as good as you did at the beginning, then you're really just raising his children. See, you're supposed to love your husband, and love is what does it. You just be real salty, you'll get thirsty. But uh, that's why you'll win your husband, by doing that. Don't be arrogant, then he'll know he's got just as much as you have. See? But when you can show something that you have that he don't have, that'll make him thirst to be like you. The sanctified wife sanctifies the husband.